Hello and welcome to the tip of the day. I'm Dr. Amy Starr with the Mesa Veterinary Clinic, Paws and Hose Mole Veterinary Services, and San Francisco Staples. And we're helping El Paso help their pets. So today I'm in Mazatlan. It's a beautiful day. Uh, it's gonna be about 82 today. And there's a slight breeze and the ocean is beautiful. And I'm not sure how much you can see behind because I know it's a little bit bright. But um, anyways, wanted to pass on the tip of the day. And basically, uh, because we're getting close to Valentine's Day, I wanted to go ahead and mention some of the risks that we have to our pets during uh, times of lots of chocolate. <laughs> so obviously, uh, most of us know that chocolate is very bad for our pets. And so we want to make sure and keep all those things up really high. You know, when we get those chocolate gifts or any of the other gifts that we might get, certain flowers um, and things like that that can be toxic, uh, we want to keep those things up high. Some dogs and cats even are really good at getting things off of counters and stuff. And uh, we always get calls every holiday season and Valentine's and stuff that, oh my gosh, my dog just ate the whole box of chocolates. And so um, one thing is, is that the sweetened chocolates that we tend to eat are not as bad as the dark bitter um, cooking chocolate that's a little bit more concentrated so it's not quite as bad but I'm sure you'll still have a mess of a really hyper dog with a lot of diarrhea and uh, nobody wants that especially if they're trying to have a, a nice Valentine's Day so Again, the main issue is the chocolate. It does have some toxins in it, um, so keep them up in a cupboard. Uh, Childproof if you have dogs that like to get into things. Um, also, just speaking about that, you know, they, you're able to childproof your garbage as well. So if you do have a dog that's uh, really good at getting into things, um, make sure that you do that because we do see a lot of issues and unfortunately have to do surgeries and stuff sometimes for pets getting into items that they shouldn't. Um, and then also during Valentine's, not only is the chocolate an issue, but like I said, some gifts, if you have small gifts and you don't want the cats to play with like a little earring or a um, little necklace or something like that, they can bat those around and, and play with those and get them stuck in their mouth and behind their tongue and even down their throat and stuff. So you want to watch out for that. And then some of the flowers, um, especially like, you know, the Easter lilies, which are more common during Easter, but, um, you know, things like that can be toxic and we don't want our pets to get into those. So if you do have any questions, let us know. I hope everybody has a great day. Bye-bye.